If anyone has that on their playlist, you are a maniac. So after making the Eminem album ranking video a couple days ago, I decided to go back and re-listen to a lot of Eminem's old music. So today we have this tier list ranking, everything from Infinite through Slim Shady LP, Marshall Mathers LP, Eminem Show, Encore, Relapse, and The Curtain Call 1. This might just be episode 1. If you guys enjoy it, I might do the rest of his catalog. I just didn't want to fit it all into one video. So we have Perfect, 9 out of 10. Great, good, mid, bad, and skits. I'm gonna place each song into what category I think it goes in, and the skits just go straight into skits. I don't want to debate what skit is better. I, I think it just depends on the context of the album. So yeah, that's how this is gonna work. Also, when it comes to Encore, I saw the comments on the last video. I was hating on Encore. They said it got leaked originally, so I kind of have to be a little more lenient, keeping in mind that it was better. It had Bully on it, I believe and it got leaked. So I, I definitely feel bad about that. That'd be very painful to have happen. But at the end of the day, I'm still gonna give my honest opinion on these songs. If you think I'm wrong in any way, or if you agree, let me know in the comments. I'm down to learn. From the last video, I learned a lot just by your comments. So yeah, I wanna hear your opinions. First off, we have Infinite. So the whole album Infinite is not on streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music, but the song Infinite is. I believe it's like licensing or something, but I'm gonna throw this song into great immediately. I love the old sound. The whole Infinite has a different soundscape that Eminem has never done besides that. It's got like, you know, the old sounding drums. His voice is definitely younger and every song has amazing wordplay. So I'm gonna go great for Infinite. It's okay. I'm gonna say good. I love the hook on this song and it's an inspirational song, but I wouldn't give it much more than good. I'll just go straight into good. Now Maxine is a little bit difficult for me to rank. It's a good song on your first listen. But, once you know the ending of the story and you know the whole storyline, it's kind of like, eh. You know, it doesn't do much more for you after that. I'm gonna go mid. Tonight is very similar to OK with a good hook. You know, decent song. I'm just gonna say good overall. I'm trying to get through Infinite pretty quick because I know a lot of you guys came here for the main albums. But 313 is amazing. If there was an amazing tier, I'd put it into that. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say great. The wordplay on it is amazing. It's a great song, great wordplay, great lyrics, great flows great song open mic is good but it takes a long time to get started there's a big intro but i'll go good on it never too far is another inspirational song i'm gonna say good as well if you haven't heard infinite you can listen to it on youtube it's got a completely different soundscape from all of eminem's other projects you're either gonna love infinite or it's not gonna do much for you but it's not gonna be like one song is good another you think is bad i'm actually gonna put searchin and backstabber into good for the same reason now i love the hook on searchin with the person singing. I don't know who it is. I don't think it says in the credits. But it's just that and Backstabber, they're both a little just normy to me. Like usually with Eminem, you can hear a song and be like, yeah, this is Eminem. You know, it's his style, but it feels, it kind of feels like he's trying to copy someone. I don't know. Let me know if you think I'm wrong, but both of those are going to go in good. Jealousy Woes though is a great song. Great rhyme schemes, great tone of voice. Everything about his flow is good. I like that song. Now to the big songs. So we're going to start with the Slim Shady LP with my name is i know you probably expect me to go you know up here but it's been overplayed for me to a bad amount i think i'm gonna have to put it in great just for the influence it's had and how much it did for him but i don't really listen to this anymore to be honest with you heard it too many times it has a cool story to it if you haven't heard that I met up with dr dre for the first time he played the beat eminem just went straight in and recorded it but then that leads right into guilty conscience which it's a good song i mean it's definitely shock value, so once the shock value wears off, with a lot of this whole album, once the shock value wears off, it doesn't really do much for you. Now, Brain Damage is a great story. This got me into Eminem, actually. Brain Damage and this next one, As the World Turns. With storytelling tracks, usually I can't listen to them multiple times because I know how they go, kind of like Maxine. But these two songs, I can just listen to on repeat all day. I don't know why. I just love the story. They're funny. They don't get old to me. So yeah, I haven't been great, personally. Now, if I had... I think this is my first perfect song, and I can explain. I know that's probably a hot take. I can explain. The raw emotion that you get from him, the anger, the disappointment, the sadness, he just puts it all into one track. You can tell he just went in the studio and recorded it. And Rock Bottom, both perfect. It's amazing to listen to these songs and then go see where he is now as one of the highest selling musicians of all time. Like, you can tell that he wanted it from day one, and he was willing to do what it took. That's why it's crazy to see him from Rock Bottom, literally, like the song name is all the way up to his new stuff years and years and years later so both those songs are perfect to me just because i know how much of an impact they had on him but 97 bonnie and clyde bad song i'm sorry can't listen to that very slow you know complete shock value so it doesn't do much for you outside the context of the album and yeah it's very similar to another song that we'll get to on the next album but role model 
I can actually play this on the guitar. I know I said I'd keep the skits out of it, but if you listen to the skit right before this, it makes this song like 10 times better. I recommend doing that. And it just shows that he didn't care if he got canceled or what people thought of him. He just wanted to make the music he wanted to make. So yeah, great song. My Fault's not as bad as 97 Bonnie and Clyde. It's another shock value story that gets old after the first couple of listens. I'm gonna say mid. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just mid. Now this, I'm not saying this name on YouTube. It's got a very catchy hook, I can't lie. I'm gonna say good, actually. I was planning on putting it in mid, just when I first looked at it, but I'll go good. Unironically, it's a decent song. I'm gonna put Just Don't Give in good, and I'm gonna put Still Don't in great. I think Still Don't is better personally, but not 9 out of 10, and it's definitely not perfect. So yeah, I'm gonna put those there. I'm Shady, I'm about to ruin this song for you. So skip past this if you like this song. If you're listening with headphones, you hear a DJ scratch in the left headphone, it ruins the song. It is so bad. I loved this song before it, actually. Before I ever noticed that. Ruined the song for me, I can't lie. So, try not to pay attention to that if you can. Because once you hear it, you can't unhear it. But then Bad Meets Evil, 9 out of 10. Great song. Him and Royce just go in. Rhyme schemes crazy. Wordplay crazy. I love the theme of it. Bad Meets Evil, 9 out of 10. Moving on, we have the Marshall Mathers LP. First song, Kill You. Okay, this is kind of funny. I know probably shouldn't be funny but he goes from being hated for the shock value all these songs we talked about to dropping a song called kill you right after a public service announcement i might have to blank that on youtube but i think just for the culture's sake nine out of ten the song on its own i probably wouldn't say nine out of ten but the timing of people hating him for the shock value and then dropping this song you're gonna notice that a lot in this album was amazing perfect timing to me so yeah nine out of ten Stan, the song is perfect. I mean, I don't want to be normie, but if you open TikTok and scroll for 10 videos, you're going to find a Stan song. If you just listen to it, you listen to the hook, the sample, you know why I feel that way. You know how iconic the song is. Can't give it anything below perfect. If you can find something to critique, let me know. I know a lot of people critique the writing sound, but I've never complained about it too much. I think it's a lot worse on I'm Shady with the DJ scratch. I'm sorry for hating on that song so much. But yeah, perfect song to me. Who Knew is going 9 out of 10, along with, what's the other one? I'm Back. These two songs are very similar, addressing the fact that the media hates him, basically. And he just doubles down. He does. He stands on business, really. He doesn't go back on his word. He just says, this is who I am. Speaking of this is who I am, another 9 out of 10 song, The Way I Am. He does not back down for people hating on him for the way that he talks and the way that he acts and the things that he talks about. Now, The Real Slim Shady... This song probably would be great, but I've heard it too many times, and I know that's not Eminem's fault, but it's been overplayed to the point where I can't say it's a great song in my opinion anymore. The hook is just kind of annoying to me. It's a funny song. It was good for a while. Yeah, I'll just keep it in good. Remember Me is a great song. I love the beat, the spray paint in the beginning, but Eminem doesn't take up a lot of that song. I might have to just go good on it, to be honest with you. But the transition from Remember Me to I'm Back, phenomenal. Great transition. Now, Marshall Mathers is another 9 out of 10 song. He addresses more controversy. He addresses the insane clown posse that dissed him. Their diss track is awful. If you haven't heard it, you should go listen to it. He just addresses everything near him again. That's like a common theme to this album. He just talks about what people have been talking about. Addresses it head on, but doesn't back down. 9 out of 10. Great rhyme schemes. I love that guitar. Hasn't gotten old for me with it on my playlist for like three years. Now, Drug Ballad, it's pretty mid. It got stale pretty fast, so not a lot of a reason to go back to it. And the fact that it's on an album this high quality, it's just, it's gonna stand out for being bad when it's not amazing like the rest of this album is. Look at this, five of them in nine out of 10. One is perfect. It's a great album. I'm gonna have to say mid just because it doesn't live up to the rest of the album. Amityville is bad. Maybe you thought the song was okay, but then Bizarre comes in. You can't argue he kills the song. It's bad. Be Please too. I'm not gonna say perfect. I'm gonna say nine out of 10. It's the collaboration everyone wanted. Eminem doesn't get most of that song. I'm gonna just say nine out of 10. I think there's more perfect songs on this list that we'll get to. Kim is bad. It's like the part two to 97 Bonnie and Clyde. If anyone has that on their playlist, you are a maniac. Let me know down below. Under the Influence is very similar to Drug Ballad. It's just mid. I don't have much of a reason to go back to it unless I'm listening to the whole track list. Criminal, I might have to put... I can't do another 9 out of 10. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna say Criminal is great. It's a great song. I love the change at the end, you know, with the gunshot. The story continues. Great song. If I end up ranking the rest of Eminem songs, there's a song called Bad Guy, and it's like a part two to Criminal pretty good song but moving on we got the Eminem show white america 
once again addressing the current state of the world i wasn't born at this point or i wasn't at least old enough to you know be understanding any of this but i know for at the time this had to have been 9 out of 10 at least. Business, this is gonna sound so picky. The intro is corny and I just skip it. But besides that, I mean, it's a good song. I don't go back to it, meh to me, but it's good. It's better than the songs of mid, that's for sure. Cleaning out my closet. I know Eminem hates this song. He says he doesn't perform it or listen to it. I mean, it's, it's okay, I'll say good. I see why it got so much attention, but it's just more shock value. Kind of felt like reaching at this point. I don't know why he made all that public if you guys know more than me you can let me know down below i'll just put it in good square dance the song itself is okay but the hook is so bad i'm gonna go mid i love his energy on soldier great once again keeping skits out of it but the skit right before it has a perfect transition it definitely enhances the song but yeah great song say goodbye to hollywood also great exposing the industry once again they're trying to suppress his thoughts and like what he says publicly but he just proceeds with what he wants to say great song drips drips is gonna go bad no it's not as bad as maxine it's not worse than maxine drips is gonna go bad no drips is very similar to maxine so i'm gonna put them right next to each other in mid once you know this story it's just like okay you don't need to listen to it again it's kind of hard to listen to but yeah mid song without me definitely overplayed i'll say great though it's iconic it's a staple to eminem sing for the moment is perfect i know i sound normie but the rock sample the singing, you know, the guitar, that whole song is beautiful. I love the production on it. I have to put it in perfect. I don't think anyone can argue that. But if you can argue it, let me know. Superman, I'm gonna say good. I don't go back to it. Like I said, for a lot of these, doesn't do much for me. I understand why people like it. I listened to it a lot when I first got into Eminem, but I'm gonna just keep it in good. Then Haley's song. So Eminem sings in this song, but he doesn't sing very often, but it's not bad. I'm gonna say great. It's a rare instance of Eminem singing. That's what I'll say. And it's not bad at all. So great. When the music stops, it's got all a D12 on it. I'm gonna say mid. Doesn't do much for me. Say what you say is kind of repetitive. Gets annoying to me. But it's got good verses. I'll say good. Till I Collapse is another huge song off the Eminem show. I can't put it in perfect, that's for sure. I'm gonna say 9 out of 10. It hypes you up. If I'm on a run, I'm listening to Till I Collapse and Sing for the Moment. But yeah, it's, it's a good song. It's not perfect to me. But My Dad's Gone Crazy, I'm gonna put that in mid. I think it was made more of just for Haley than opposed to his fans. But yeah, it's just mid to me. I don't go back to it. Evil Deeds? This song is hated. I don't know why. I keep seeing hate on it. I'm saying great. I listen to it with my AirPods in while I'm working all the time. It's not bad to me. Never Enough is worse than Evil Deeds, but not terrible. It's in my rotation occasionally. I'll just put it straight into good. Now, Yellow Brick Road, underrated. Perfect. TikTok hasn't gotten to it. You rarely hear this song. Never hear it on the radio. It's not in any, like, big playlists or anything. If you shuffle Eminem, it's not coming on, but it's one of his best songs to me. He kind of explains his backstory and, like, parts of his life that you've never heard before, maybe. So, perfect song. Definitely recommend it. Hey, okay, Like Toy Soldiers. Very iconic song. Ends the beef. I want to say perfect. It ends the beef with a lot of people. Speaks his mind without being controversial. He sounds a lot more mature on the song. I'm gonna say perfect. I love the way he addresses everything without trying to be funny about it. He just attacks it head on. It's got a great sample. I think that's a sample. The people singing in the background, perfect song. Mosh, I'm gonna say mid. The hook is pretty weak to me. The whole song overall doesn't do too much. I don't have it in my playlist, so I'll keep it in mid. Puke is bad. I don't even want to explain that. My first single, bad. Rain Man, bad. Big Weenie, bad. I'm sorry. I can't listen to those. If those come on, I'm taking my headphones off. There's not much more to it. Those songs are so bad. And I know you guys defended it for being leaked, but I just feel so bad for Eminem for having to release these. I doubt he released these on purpose. I don't know if it's something the label made him do. I don't know if it's something that he wanted to do to troll people, but Encore would be like a hundred times better if he just cut these out and made the album smaller. It kind of ruins the album for me, to be honest with you. He could have had a perfect four album run. Just lose it, it's bad as well. A like that. Okay, this one, the bass goes hard. I'm gonna say mid. I'll occasionally, very occasionally play this with the bass up, okay? <clears throat> I don't want to explain myself, okay? It's going in mid. Spend some time has a pretty funny intro. I'll put it in good. Mockingbird, I'm gonna go 9 out of 10. I've personally heard it too many times, so I don't listen to it very often. You know, while I'm talking about Mockingbird, I'm going to grab When I'm Gone and put it also in 9 out of 10. 
I can see why these were so like impactful at the time and I can see why they're so big. It's Eminem being his emotional self, kind of like he was on If I Had in Rock Bottom, completely opening up, but years later. So it's way different, different stories, different things on his mind. Great songs. But then we got Crazy in Love. He raps without breathing. I swear. I don't know how he just keeps going forever. He probably just cuts it and I'm just stupid. But I'm going to say mid. One shot, two shot is better than that. I'm going to go great. I also don't listen to this very often. I think I just shy away from Encore mostly overall. And to be honest, the whole album is affected by these five songs right here for me. It just gives me a bias to the rest of the album, I guess. Now the song Encore, like the self-titled song, is the outro is good. We as Americans, another song getting real. I'm going to say great. Okay, so Love You More is like a love song. I don't think it's a real story. I think it's just him talking and making a story. Kind of like Stan. I'll put it in good, I guess. I don't really listen to it. But Ricky Ticky Talk is very similar to Like Toy Soldiers, where he's talking about the beef. A lot more aggressive about it, I guess. I'll go 9 out of 10. Okay, moving on, we have Relapse. It's the refill version, so it's got a lot more on it. And then Curtain Call. We'll get to Curtain Call. 3 a.m. Beautiful rhyme schemes. Terrifying story. Oh, I might go perfect. I'm gonna say 9 out of 10. I love the rhyme schemes. I recommend for all of Relapse, I'm probably gonna say this a couple times, looking up the rhyme breakdowns where it highlights each word and the color. I'll put a picture up on screen for what I'm trying to say. It shows every syllable and how it rhymes and it it's amazing. 3 a.m. is crazy. A couple other songs are as well. My Mom, this song is bad. Insane, this song is bad. I don't think I need to explain. He tries to go back to his old shock value, but he just fails, in my opinion. Bagpipes from Baghdad, mid, bad hook. The hook is terrible. I'm gonna just say mid. Hello? This is good. I had it in my playlist for a while. Now back to the horrorcore Eminem. Same song in dance. This is going next to 3 a.m. 9 out of 10. As well as Stay Wide Awake. This is another horrorcore song. That's why I just jump straight to it. I'm putting this in perfect. I have nothing to critique about it. And I'm going to put up a picture of the rhyme scheme. Notice how all of it is like highlighted in different colors. That shows how much songwriting time he put into this. And it's just perfect. You can't critique it. If you don't like the horrorcore, that's one thing. But you have to admit how perfectly written this song was. So yeah, I'm putting it in perfect. We Made You, putting it in mid. In Medicine Ball, I'm also putting it in mid. Old Time's Sake, I'm going to say good. Must Be the Ganja, another horrorcore story. 9 out of 10. I know it might sound biased that I like the horrorcore songs, but you can't really deny how good these rhyme schemes are in any of these songs. If you're gonna argue me in the comments, I'm fine with that, but make sure you look up the lyrics to these and look up the rhyme breakdowns. That's all I ask, because I bet it'll change your mind. Deja Vu, very emotional song. I'm gonna say great, as well as beautiful, but I think beautiful is a little better. I'm gonna put it up in 9 out of 10. Crack a Bottle is definitely an emotional roller coaster. Like, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm gonna say good. Underground kind of has Ken Kenef on it. It's kind of Eminem trolling. He goes back to shock value in it. I know a lot of this album is shock value, but it's like his old style of shock value. It's a great song. It's a little too long. Like, he, does, he didn't need to make it as long as it was. But Forever, we'll put that up in 9 out of 10. One of the best rap collaborations, honestly, ever. Hell Breaks Loose really to be honest with you feels like filler it feels like he didn't need to put this on an album i'm sorry it's going in mid buffalo bill is like very similar to bagpipes and baghdad i get them mixed up i'm gonna say good elevator is like a very rare instance of eminem being braggadocious and i like it i'm gonna say great taking my ball didn't need to make the album it's good it's it's not bad but i'd listen to it over a lot of these mid songs now i put deja vu and great I put beautiful in 9 out of 10. So for careful what you wish for, it's a similar song and the fact that he's opening up. Very emotional. But I'm going to say 9 out of 10. I think he's more open in this song because he talks about, you know, things that have happened to him. I know he does in the others as well, but it just speaks to me more. I'm going to say 9 out of 10. Because you'll listen to songs like If I Had and Rock Bottom where all he wants is the fame. And now he's saying, what, 10 years later? Yeah, 10 years later. Be careful what you wish for because it's done harm for him as well music box i'm gonna say great drop the bomb on him i'm gonna say good now my darling this might go perfect for me my darling is a very open song he talks about when you get to a certain level of size people try to get you to you know switch he uses metaphors he acts like it's the devil i'm, I'm actually gonna drop it to nine out of ten just because i can't listen to it as often as these songs but it's a great, it's a great, great listen. Now this song, this song, I'm not saying that name out loud, straight to bad, not explaining it. Lose Yourself, perfect. We've seen the impact it's had on our culture, multiple generations, generation before me, my generation, 
great song shake that with nate dog i'm gonna say it's a great song it's definitely like a club hit i don't play it very often but if it, if that gets turned on on the aux i'm not complaining stan live i've actually not heard this i'm assuming it's just the song stan performed i'm gonna put it in skits because i don't think it's i know it's not a skit but i don't think it deserves to be judged especially if i haven't heard it i probably just skipped it to be honest with you renegade with jay-z perfect that might be a hot take because people critique jay-z's verse but for eminem tier list and for how good the song is from both of them let's give jay-z some credit on it the songwriting is phenomenal the beat is amazing it's catchy you can listen to it back to back to back without it getting old i'm gonna say it's a perfect song dead wrong with biggie i don't understand how this song was made explain this in the comments before i choose actually how's biggie dead but then eminem gets like an unreleased couple verses from him and then flips it into a song can someone explain was it like an unfinished song from biggie and eminem just dropped a verse i don't know either way i'm gonna say it's a great song i don't think biggie needs to be rapping for as long before eminem comes in i kind of wish they broke it up a little bit you gotta wait a couple minutes before you get to hear eminem at all but yeah great song now this last one i'm not saying the name on youtube i can't listen to it bizarre kills it bizarre just like just like amityville bizarre makes the song go from okay to bad i used to like bizarre don't get me wrong but the shock value is just too much it got old after listening to bizarre for too long i can't stand it anymore i have to just shut it off i'm sorry i'm sorry to bizarre fans but yeah it's just bad to me so here's the final tier list we got up in perfect if i had rock bottom stan sing for the moment yellow brick road like toy soldier stay wide awake lose yourself and renegade the problem with eminem to me is the inconsistency don't get me wrong he's one of the best rappers of all time if not the best rapper of all time but look how many songs are good and up. That's majority of his catalog is good and up. But when you go to bad, you see patterns. Like you see these horrorcore shock value attempts were just flops. And it's like, it makes the song unlistenable. Five in a row right here, Encore. It just makes the Encore album bad to me. My Mom and Insane is years later, Eminem trying to go back to shock value. It just doesn't work. I don't know what this song is. I don't, is there a story to that or something? Let me know down below because it's pretty bad. And then bizarre ruining Eminem's reputation, in my opinion. So yeah, thank you for watching. This is my second Eminem video. I might start reacting to some of his freestyles and unreleased songs on YouTube. Let me know. Right up here. Yeah, right there. I got another Eminem tier list for you. You can check that out. Let me know in the comments if I should turn this into a series, a playlist. You know, all that. I'd love to react to it. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And thank you for watching.